Feature Friday. The freshest. <gasps> hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Feature Friday. Today's Friday. And we are doing a highly anticipated West Bengal podcast special. That's right. Uh, lots of cool information you guys have sent us and lots of requests. There was actually so many requests because it turns out some of, uh, well, actually all of our favorite singers or some of our favorite singers from India all come from West Bengal. Which Lata is really Lata Mangeshkar, cool. Asha Boshel, uh, Asha Bosle, sorry, Arijit Singh, Shreya Goshal, Shan, mm. uh, a bunch of, like, it's insane the amount of people and pedigree of music that West Bengal has. Uh, they speak Bengali, mm -hmm. um, which is a bit similar to what they speak in Bangladesh. Bangla, I think. Bangla. Uh, but there's, a, there's also more cool information that you guys send me, like, um, it says here, look, let me bring it up. Because you guys were very adamant that we kind of, um, yeah. learn this um, also Bengali is known as the sweetest language in the world shout out to Kumar Kishore I don't <laughs> think you're the real one but anyways <laughs> uh, so West Bengali is actually located in the east part of India it's not the west I understand uh, I understand because of the, the geography of it I've been looking mm -hmm. at the map lately uh, because before the partition India Bang Bangla it was called East Bengal and that's why there was the West Bengal and then East Bengal you, will, you see what I mean yeah um, the people of Bengal are called Bengali or Bengali, uh, we speak uh, the language which is also called Bengali or Bangla. It is almost the same language as spoken in Bangladesh. Uh, we are part of a culture. We make a conscious effort to put like uh, classical and folk. Yeah, and you can tell you can tell in the in the music industry. And look at this: Arijit, Shreya, Alka Yagnik, Pritam, Shan, Monali Thakur, Kishore Kumar, Ardi Burma, uh, uh, Kumar Sanu, and there's a bunch of like. Uh, New names. Lata is also from there. Lata Mangeshka, rest in peace. Um, That's really cool. That's what I mean. I feel like this particular podcast might need a second donkeys. part. So, again, take this as a journey of diving a little bit deeper into a specific section, a specific part, region of India. But I think this deserves a second part, just in the name power Yeah, alone. yeah, because we can only check out so many songs. Um, yes. And, you know, we are learning as, as things go. But, of course, because this is a brand new industry to us, India is still a completely brand new territory for us. And we don't have a team yet that extends to yes. those parts. There's only so much we can check out. It's not sort of like how it is with K-pop or with the Philippines or Indonesia, Malaysia, Japan. Mm -hmm. We don't have anyone that kind of helps us out with that style of, of things, you know, when it comes to the whole copyright situation. Um, so there's only so much we can check out. Um, but I think, yeah, essentially, we probably will do a part two of this because if some of the biggest and some of our most enjoyable experiences will be from West Bengal, why the fuck not return? That's right. Um, I... Tell you what, um, I want to react uh, and begin to one of my favorite singers that has come out of India. His name is Arijit Singh. You might know of him. He's somewhat famous, <laughs> probably one of the most famous people right now. Um, also, go show love to the new channel. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't like promoting it on this channel because I want it to build its own fan base and stuff like that, even though I think most people that know us go there anyways. Um, but he's just been fucking hit with copyright after copyright and like blocked everything. Yeah. Um, we just did RRR and then he reached like over 100,000 views and then they blocked it and we speak to every, who everyone who we try to speak to and then the system is just fucking broken at the moment. Mm -hmm. So we've now tried to sort of part it out and uh, sent it back to our editor and worked hard at it again. And you can enjoy it. I think most people have seen it at this point, but hopefully, I don't know, it picks up traction again. But the next movie, we're still deciding what it is. That's right. Uh, new movie reviews and reactions will come every Friday there. So if you like that type of stuff, you can go check it out. This is called... Bojena She Bojena. Okay, first time. Never heard this Arijit song, and that's a fucking blessing. Okay, the vocal layers are so much. This is young Arijit. Set. I like the set. 
Nice. It's like the narrator is coming into the picture. I've always liked that exploration. We saw it in, in Barfi when we watched that, mm -hmm. that movie. Um, where is that movie based? Ah, oh, that's a very good question. Because I remember, I can't remember where he was. The movie Butterfly, if anyone knows, because there was lots of European influences yes. uh, uh, in that movie. And it was something to do with the location that it was shot at in India. Um, but I've always liked that idea. That movie does something really well where it has the musicians mm -hmm. be part of the world and usually playback singers, you know, like, you know, Arijit would be a good example. Of this They're usually not involved in the movie set Yes. Or in the movie itself, there's just the voice that speaks mm -hmm. from above, I mm -hmm. guess, or the maximal expression of the character. But I've always liked that idea of making them be part of the set as it's, well. It's kind of meta, but it's, it's subtle at the same time. It, yeah. it, it's like a nice call out to, here's the face, to the overall we'll scene try. narrator. Yeah. See, very meta, it's very weird. Aww. I like that chorus. I don't think I can show you this. I wonder what that means. Oh, cool. I like the reflection. That was nice. Oh, no. Wait, she passed away? I am so confused. I like the, the language. All right, so really interesting because obviously in terms of plot of stuff, don't fucking ask me. I'm still trying to grasp or make a conclusion. But it's interesting how um, with, with Bengali, mm -hmm. um, it, it obviously sounds similar to, to um, you know, some of the music that we've been exposed to from India. Um, it, and given the fact that it's Arijit and we're quite familiar with Arijit's music, it's probably one of the artists we place the, mo the most at home from all over the world. Um that it, it does seem a bit sweeter and perhaps it is not the best song to sort of uh, highlight that aspect but it it maintains also some of the percussive aspects that hindi lacks as well because mm -hmm. um, we listen to most music in hindi it seems if we're going to listen to any pieces from a lot of these artists um because they seem to be the big hits right that's right um but it seems to maintain a lot of some of the percussiveness of like tamil Mm. Um, but then it maintains a sweetness that like Hindi has, but in, in, in Bengal, it's, it's a tiny bit, it has like a pinch more sugar. I think it, it, it has to do a lot of like this, the larynx setting, the settings, having, having more plosives and more bounciness in consonants allowed for this, the larynx to sit naturally higher. Mm. So that brings out more melody to certain things. Like if you pay attention to other languages, for example, Japanese or uh, Korean, they sit a little bit higher um, in the larynx because of the percussive nature of of uh, the the language itself. You can also hear it really clearly in Tagalog. Mm. Um, well, Tagalog's a better example, I would say, than Korean. 
Korean, the, 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 the thing about Korean and Japanese is that they're also syllabic. Yep. So it, it allows for each syllable to even drop the larynx further down. Yep. But they sit quite high naturally. Um, so I think here you have a really good... It's a bizarre mix. It's a good mi mixture of both elements. You have the right amount of percussiveness with the right amount of... Um, of that sweetness yeah. and like uh, you know overflowing nature of the <laughs> Hindi language. Very too. intriguing so Very far. Cool. Also, the plot of this bloody hell. I, I have am no confused idea. as hell. Very tragic. Well, their relationship is such a roller coaster. He's obviously in love with her, and she's in love with another man, and I don't know where the accident sits. Uh, perhaps two worlds colliding, right? See, like, Maybe they're twins. I don't know. The girls. Even the boje. It's boje. Yeah, it's more. It's rather than more like a sha Yeah. Than a ja. It's softer. Yeah. You also, you wouldn't really find shays she, that she. often. Shays. That's right. That often in in other parts of India. At least from my experience, bloody hell. It's a very air, clear air sound. That's nice. I like that song a lot. That's nice. Can I That's press really like? Nice. Yeah? Of course. I'm gonna comment as well. <laughs> I'm gonna say uh, I like how he says "bojena." Question mark. <laughs> Too late now. Uh, sorry, I don't know how to spell. <laughs> oh my god. Very nice. Oh, I spelled spelled, spelled, spelled spell wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um, nice. Really nice. I, I just I want to check out the lyrics to this because yes. bloody hell, what in I the fuck it, does that mean? Again, I just think it might help us understand the plot a little bit better too. Perhaps I don't know. I mean, a lot of these lyrics lyrics are so poetic. It means she that doesn't just... understand. Um, oh. I feel like calling her and I apply her fragrance. Why even dusk falls, she flees. Try to, is this the right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, try to stick to her. It is quenching my thirst. I am looking at the window at the end. She doesn't understand. She doesn't understand. At the time of dreams, her other nicknames come. Who decorates her newly every day? Oh. Whose every dreams comes true? Still, am I, I am spending my, day, my days well looking and walking wherever she goes, my two eyes. She doesn't understand. She doesn't understand. Today, truth and lies are the day... Is telling while going. What the fuck? And the heart keeps dying silently. It's like one of those phrases that you make up with all the Hindi words that you can you can remember. Uh, it's just because it's, <laughs> yeah, it's like a literal translation. But th this is probably a good representation of what a lot of... Oh, apologies, I wasn't showing that. Um, relationships may feel in when you sort of... Unrequited love. Yeah, the yes. heart keeps dying silently. Uh, maybe passion keeps dying silently because but after you were with someone for such a long time perhaps your dreams didn't accomplish the way you thought i think this is more about our unrequited love from both ends from from the first male character that presents itself it's absolutely infatuated with her and her being infatuated with a man that doesn't reciprocate so i think it's a very clear it's a very to me that's just what i'm seeing here it's a very clear depiction of what it's like to love somebody that doesn't love you back right and then everyone dies so why does it matter exactly jesus well, well in in reality why why spend your days Excruciating the impossible impossibilities. She doesn't understand. She doesn't understand. That's right. When I see. You can, I like that song a lot. Day. That was quite good. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. Um, also someone else that we're sort of really familiar with and we like a lot. Actually, we missed the chance to watch her live this year, yeah, which was did, probably yeah. one of our biggest regrets this year. Um, was Shrek or Shell? And um, someone the the video that kept getting recommended was this, which is a live performance. We um, love live performances. We love live performances. We know how other people feel about them as well. Like uh, sometimes checking out the studio versions of things um, provide a different flavor and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. We enjoy a lot more live stuff. So if you have a live stuff, do send it down below. Uh, but this was actually the most requested stuff. It was in Kolkata, and she's gonna sing Joa Paki Balu. You see, there's a lot of. Bah, bah. <laughs> 
Okay. I love that dress. Mm. Wow, first time we've seen her like this. Lower range, she's a Shreya. I think it might be my favorite Shreya. Nice river. I love a good delay. So she's just signaled in the flutist. Bansuri, I guess, I don't know. You see why I love these videos? Yeah, great, man. Damn. Woo. Bravo. How exciting. I love it's that sentence. So it sounds like a lullaby. I love that. I love the delay as well. It it allows for like the 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 phrase to just settle be, between between beginnings and endings of phrases. So it's it's like you're hearing. A call and response yeah. kind of effect to well, it. Well, droplets essentially. They're, yes. they're sort of non stop, right? Perhaps that's why she. The overlaying, the, 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 the overlapping. Yeah. Of, yeah, it's so clever. Also, I love that the, the, the riff in the guitar is so continuous. <laughs> She's actually working <laughs> off of the harmonics of one chord. Yeah. How clever is that? Hard. <laughs> I love that. Did she just say sing? Yeah, come on. Are you mad? Well, I don't. I like it, the slower range. <laughs> nice blemishes and flesh. I fucking I, I you know sometimes I take the piss right because I don't know how to do that but it sounds amazing when they do it. Yeah, I agree. Because awesome. I do it in the, you know, sometimes when I wake up or something. Because I, sometimes I just dream about the stuff that we react to. So I'm just, ah, I love those moments in the movie. I love it in that. There's no like, movie. That's real life. I know, but <laughs> usually they use them in the movies, don't they? Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. I love this range. This is my favorite share performance I, I think, think we've so ever seen. Too. Yeah. So full. Look 
what he's doing to the guitarist. He is in another universe right now. Siren, bro, like, like a mermaid. Wow, come on! Right, and she's directing at the same time. <laughs> Such a fucking great video. It's magical because again, this is the perfect example of how less. Oh yeah, dude! Live over everything be. to me, yeah, literally, and this yeah. just proves it. Live music over everything. It's I understand king. there's yes. you know, it, you know, studio music is necessary, mm -hmm. uh, but I, I I wish we still lived in this world where, and again, shoulda, coulda, woulda, but just expressing my thoughts at the end of the day. It's not even my podcast, but I guess I can express my thoughts. <laughs> but no, I'm just, no, no, go I, ahead. I wish we were in this point still where live music was number one. Yeah. And live performances were number one. You, you, weren't based, you weren't selling tickets based on how many followers you had or based on how many uh, marketing or money or yeah. all this other shit. You were based on how good your last performance was. That's right. You know, That's and right. the people that then when they tell their friends because of their experience of the live thing, and then it's just organic. It's whoever. So that means if you have a bad show, next show, you cannot, you're only allowed one bad show. Uh, right. and, and that's it. Because if not, those people are going to tell everyone that that was a shit show. <laughs> but if you have great shows like this ones, uh, this does 10 times the, you know, more value back it used to do, 10 times more of the impact um, in ticket sales than any song. Nowadays, you do a song, it does 20 million views. Bro, your next fucking thing is you're, you're sold out. Yes, you know, you can yes. tour with a song like that. Um, uh, it's it's incredible. But in this in this particular, um, again, like I said, I just think this shows the really these moments in levels, the live performances. Bro. They really showcase the ability of melody creation. The 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 way that you can build a world out of absolutely freaking nothing. Yeah, it's literally. So simple. Uh, it, the the idea of having a guitar with delay. Tons of reverb, both in the Chum, vocals and in her in in her guitarist, and then just kind of like amplify the beauty of the simplicity of it, because they they were she was just riffing off of one simple chord and all its harmonics, maybe three, maybe three harmonics out of the same chord, right? It's ridiculous I, the, that you can create that much depth that much world building yeah. that much uh i mean mastery th because because of this this structure of a song for musicians it's very linear there's no beginning there's no end you need a clear director and that is a task that takes a lot of these artists out of the moment they it, it, it doesn't allow them to s sink into this um, magic. I found some lyrics actually. It says, Go fly bird, sing breezes blowing, misty the window's glass. Have I lost me or could I be a fairy tale at last? Uh -huh. Damn, that rhymed. <laughs> Here are the firefly spark, golden moon lost in waters dark. In the window piled clouds above, go cloud go, keep an eye on my love. <gasps> go fly bird, sing breezes blowing, misty the window's glass. <laughs> 
Have I lost me or could it be a fairy tale at last? And that it and just that's repeats. That's exactly itself. what it sounds like. So, what is Cholo Cholo? It means Jao Paki Bolo Heowa Heowa Hauva Cholo Cholo. It means go fly birds, sing breezes blowing. I see. Damn, I love that. That is. I love when she just opens up after ah, each. Yeah, that's, that's the best you. part. I told that's you. The best, the best part. fucking bit of the whole thing. Uh -huh, here he goes. Oh, it's magical, it's magical. It sounds like the breezes are calling. Like, my question is, like, this is the mad thing. I, I didn't even know those notes existed yeah. up until nine months ago, a year ago. Maybe, well, nine think, months or something like that. The thing year? is, is, like, the notes have always been there. The thing is, like, we've never known how to traverse them that way. Like, yeah. we have never known... Like, we had, we had no, uh, no clue idea. that you could do that. Yeah, that is <laughs> insane. All right, let's, um, let's, let's experience a brand new name. Um, this is Anupam Roy. Uh, for the first time for us. Um, I don't know much about him. Um, it, it, it is like a studio piece, this one. Um, okay. It's called Benche Takare Gan. I think I apologize if I'm murdering stuff. I truly apologize. Autograph. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I love the previous one. I went muted. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, nice video. All right. Okay. Just be patient, hermano. Fucking hell, the TikTok era, eh? I don't even have TikTok. Imagine the kids that do. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the kids that were raised with it. Yeah. Oh, same chord. Same root note. Yeah, I chose it on purpose. He did not. Texture. That's big classic vibes. I love a good pop rock song. It must be back home. It does, yeah. The video is cool though. <laughs> For a second, I thought it was the Tumsehi guy, the the guy from <laughs> Chap we met <laughs> yeah. from the back, you know. So, so, turns out he also made at the SIM card. <laughs> So he's like a manager, producer. Huh. Ah. 
Nice, I like where this is going. <laughs> she reminds me a lot of the adverts that we were used to be on when we were kids on TV. Yeah. This actually and now, like. look at the camera and say the lyrics very clearly. I thought he was going to smack her in the face with that mic. <laughs> and that's like the owner of the TV channel. It always used to happen. Yeah, you were like, ah, oh, nice, dude. Yeah. yeah, please keep paying my wages. <laughs> <laughs> These have big drunk vibes, though. I like this because even the corporate, like the harmony chords, are very Western. Yeah. Autograph. Lights, camera, love. Available on cinemas. I wonder when. You know these videos old as hell when the intro is like 20 seconds of nothing <laughs> and then the outro is 20, 20, seconds, of 20 seconds of nothing. I wonder when this came out. <laughs> 12 years ago. Okay. But even then, I think people knew something about retention time though. <laughs> you know? <laughs> what people saying here, other than the awesome bass, there's something really interesting happening here. Music wise, all right, go on, sir. <laughs> the harmony is awesome. The pitch, yeah. tone, scale so blends. Perfectly. But you see, it's very Western. This is a very straightforward pop uh, rock alternative track. That's it's just whatever you got in the West, that's what you're getting here. Except the for the vocals, of course. The strings, especially the violin, those were the only strings, Have uh, has got a surreal uh, European and Irish blend to it. Yeah. Awesome. Makes the song complete. Does the job silently. Um, awesome. awesome. The visuals are great. He spelled great with an eight. Clips from the movie, technicians who hardly played feature anyway. Oh, that's quite nice. I was wondering whether Chondro, if he was indeed playing the bass, I presume that's the bass player. Great to see my dear old cow. Oh, so they knew each other. That's class. Um, How awesome. It, it is interesting. Awesome. I mean, I wouldn't call it, I wouldn't say it's Irish uh, or European. Uh, I, I do I, see where it comes from, though. Irish music is heavily uh, driven like this. by... Yeah. by uh, pop rock. I think one may create the illusion of sort of Irish perhaps influence the rock is the presence of the violin oh, because yeah, something that's really prevalent in, in the UK especially the further up you go north um, is sometimes people like to because uh, it's a very Celtic thing yeah alternative rock it, it's become very really popular in the north of the UK right uh, especially in England then the further up you go um, you start to see bizarre mixes of things because you start to go a bit more uh, it depends folk. where you go yeah folk I, I guess that's most accurate thing to do, mm -hmm. to say. Um, but yeah, that the guy's pretty much on. I'm going to reply to him. Nice, <laughs> man. I agree. That's good. Breakdown. <laughs> oh, my God. Nice. I replied. Look, guys. <laughs> Can we go? Can we make his comment like a thousand likes? <laughs> Just make him famous. Okay. I wonder what his channel is. Is this bad? Can we check out people's channels? He's got two know. subscribers. Subscribe to Imon Kundu. <laughs> Get him monetized on YouTube. I want to subscribe to him. For what I don't know. Maybe look, yes. he's posting videos of speed paint, palette knife, acrylic paint. Change someone's life. Because why not? Yes, you I know? think so. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Go yes. subscribe to him, guys. His channel is Imon <laughs> Rate, rate, rate. Yeah, rate the fuck out of him. <laughs> All right. Um, what next now? Let's yeah, give, Mr. DJ. Let's what give we this got a next? watch. Um, this is also another first timer. I'm just going to skip over the Coke Studio for now. Okay. Um, we'll go after this. Um, also, we have Lata Mangeshkar as well on the weights. 
and then another Arijit song. But we'll close out with that one, I think. <laughs> this is from 2019. It's a bit more recent. Okay. 27 million. It, it is interesting so far. I can't grasp what the fuck the genres that may be more popular in West Bengal are. Um, but certainly fun. <laughs> At least I'm having yeah, fun. Yeah. Uh, but I, I mean, like the the, uh, the freshness, the diversity in the language. Like yeah. it provides such beautiful dynamics that you that I don't think we get often enough in Hindi. Like I think there's a lot of like that that bounciness, and there's like a nice uh, uh, settled. Uh, lower resonant thing but it's not an alto for females and it's not super basic for men either it's somewhere in it's is it really nice in between the first time really great things shreya, that range which oh, was amazing it's, it's my favorite shreya yes okay this is prema pora ba baron baron um and i think the singer is isha if i'm not mistaken which is another first night first time cool. um no the singer is laj najita chakraborty which i recognize that surname but it's not the person I'm thinking of. Because remember, what's her name? The girl that we saw, well, the woman now, but we saw her do... Shutri? You think? I am, I am we guessing saw, that. It's that, that video, guys, where we like, checked, her, checked her evolution from Hindustani classical as a kid to then her being a pop star. <laughs> it's the first time. Very raw cinematography, from what I can tell, which I like. Some heavy fog. Yeah, damn. You see, same register. Like a good mezzo register. Which is so mad, because we were just discussing prior to this, that given like Lata Mangeshkar's from there, Shreya Goshao, Asha Boshle, um, Mona Lisa, well, I guess Mona Lee is a bit of a freak as well. She's a special woman. Um, but the voices registers that they do when they do music for other music industries, yes. it's usually quite similar. Is mm -hmm. that, you know, super sweet, super high um, uh, uh, soprano kind of style of classical style of singing. So I would have presumed that was going to be the female voice we see so most often. So did I. I'm actually shocked, surprised. Not like this. No, that is, it's actually lower in the range, but it maintains the sweetness, it maintains the femininity of the, yeah. of the, of the singing elements too. And it's not, it's actually kind of like a straightforward it's approach. more real. It's, no, I wouldn't say it's more real. I think it's more a straightforward musical approach to it. It's not as intricate and and, uh, and hard to understand like Indian classical music and I think perhaps it's because we're checking out popular popular, popular yeah we'll go to the music. Coke studio because there's two things from Coke that I want to check out uh, but based off of the because in, in popular Hindi music you still maintain those uh like a, a classical um, Indian classical influences. singing influences really yeah. predominantly um even if it's a dance track, which I find absolutely yeah. mind-blowing. Yeah, well, from what people were telling me, it's like in West Bengal, that's like, it's purposeful. People in most even pop, you will still hear twangs or or snippets, not snippets, sprinkles of their folk or classical stuff. That's really cool. So interesting. That we then, need to check out the folklore. Yeah, we'll Bengal go to Coke then. Studios after this. Um, but like Janita is kicking ass yeah. right now. What I meant by real as well was, like, I presume that's her voice. Yes, yes, yes. You yes, see what I, I mean? See, I, it, I know what you mean. Feels more like uh, organic. That's right. Yes. Is it that really me casted, or that's that's the person singing? <laughs> oh, what's wrong with the hand? Damn, my hand just, is blue, bro. I think it's just uh, painted, tainted. Oh, maybe. Oh, so I was gonna say you need to get inside, girl. Get warm. I love that. I want to look at some pictures of West Bengal. See what it looks like. If it's cold, and mountainous. I love that. 
I love this woman's voice. That is like, so beautiful. Like Najita. And it's, it's, it's sweet, but it's youthful, but oh. at the same time, it's so emotional. Also, these plots, man, what the yeah, hell? Yeah, what is happening? Uh, say yes! You're boiling over your lentils. It must be so difficult to film with those. Uh, so much fog. I like a lot of cinematography. Short, like, like. It's also so youthful. It sounds like a fresh heartache. Fresh. You know what the video reminds me of? Do you remember? Do you know those videos that you go, uh, you go to festival, uh, you go to um, film cinema. Festival. Yeah, it reminds, gives me that Organic. feeling yeah. of like award-winning film fest. European, not European, but you know, <laughs> like here in the UK, you have some of those ones. It's the is the organic feel to the. Yeah, film. it feels yes. amazing. Like uh, yes. I feel like I'm actually watching a real story. It's just that mm -hmm. someone's decided to document it with a camera around them. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's how their voice makes me feel as well. Yeah. Barum. Preme por abarum. Okay, nice. Mm. Oh, there's a male version. Barum. I love this song. It's, it's called Sweater. That's the whole pop. Uh, Focus on the sweater That's thing. Cool That's song. 27 million views. Oh, watch, watch the mail. Watch the mail. Presume. Semitone lower. Also, um, we haven't seen the presence of any classical instruments yet. They've Except decided to now, go for the violin. This yeah. sounds some, perhaps like a harmonium. Yes, this is um, the first, yeah. With a guitar. Could that be a harmonium? Probably. I think it is, yeah. That's the composer and lyricist singing. Oh! Rana Joy Batacharji. Wow! What a voice, though. That's one of my favorite songs of today. I love it! Also, I wanna uh, okay. Hold on, brilliant, one brilliant. segundo, one segundo. Uh, film location. Mm. One sec. I I wanna That's see really where cool. where they recorded Barfi. Mm -hmm. Darjeeling. Barfi. Darjeeling. Emerges. Where did they shoot Barfi? Darjeeling. Barfi was shot in between, mostly in Darjeeling. Where the fuck is that? Because they visited Kolkata at one point, right? Because they go to like. Um, uh, it's a town in the West Bengal. I told you, ah. this fucking place. It's a thing where they recorded <laughs> Barfi as well. Look at this. I saw that. I saw it in this in the church. I saw it in the church. No, it's this. This angle when here. She, look. Yeah, when she walks down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that. Sh oh my God! That's that shot in yes. Barfi where there's like a train track here, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. There's like a train track. Let me put it with the around here. That's probably like a train track. And then he gets always run over by some post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You or, know? yeah, a similar, similar situation. It but is because I... he changes the clock of this church. Oh, is that the same? What, it could be another church. It could be another church, but you know what I mean? But yes, no, I see what you mean. I, no, the thing is, when I saw it... I, I should have I, said it. Yeah, no, I, no I thought one would it, believe me. I thought it in my mind. I thought it in my mind, <laughs> but I couldn't say it off of his mouth. 
Hole. <laughs> That's glass. Wow. Yeah, this... good. Okay, let me search up then. Good, good, good. West Bengal pictures. Oh, West Bengal pictures. Uh, not news. Images. West Bengal tourism. Oh, I should probably take this out because sometimes it's like inappropriate shit. <laughs> Yeah, because it's bizarre what YouTube finds inappropriate. Oh yeah, it's that's lots, true. Lots of water. <laughs> uh, maybe there's like a like a lake or something close by, or but I think it's mountains. I think it's said in mountains. What mountains no? is it? I don't know. I have no idea. Just but based on that single of bridges, video. Though? So maybe this. I have no idea. No idea. West hard Bengal. to tell. Hard to tell. I so like it though. Kolkata is in. The capital city of West Bengal. I see. A lot of a lot of people take pictures there. Oh, I've I seen see. these pictures, like not these pictures, but like this. People. Yeah. Very popular. Oh well, look at that. I see. Also, Kolkata is like, it's in West Bengal. Amazing. I have no idea. We just I, learned something new. I do apologize of our ignorance. <laughs> but I guess this is the family of the podcast that we can... How Indian Chinese food became India's favorite cuisine. Oh, look what at that. What the? How uh, did that happen? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like in Britain. I cannot see how much that, how that happened. But in London, like the, the food of England is like curry. It's like yeah. Indian curry. Yeah. She's ridiculous. <laughs> that just says a lot about English cuisine. Fish and chips is ass. <laughs> And I have nothing against English cuisine. But what is it? <laughs> Genuinely, can anyone enlighten me? What is it like porridge? Ah, shepherd's pie. <laughs> Mince pie. But the pies, right? They do a lot of pies here. Yeah. Yeah. The, the pasties are very popular. I think yeah, they're pretty... Yeah, cheese and... Uh, the national food of England is Wenzel's. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, Greg's. Is Greg's. Greg's. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sausage roll. <laughs> or a, a, a package tub. Mm -hmm. Corner shop, sold, sandwich. <laughs> meal deal. Meal deal. <laughs> That's the fucking national meal of England. I tell you that much. Um, okay. I saw this. I saw this clip of this guy like uh, being really angry at this other uh, his friend saying like, "Bro, he's French," and he was like, "Yo, your food, it's so bad." And he was like, "Don't talk crap about the food in my country. In London, we have the best restaurant, five star in the whole of Europe." And so like, "What is it?" He's like, yeah, it's French. <laughs> yeah, it's French so, cuisine. <laughs> I think like one of the most popular Indian restaurants Sorry. is in like London as well. Yeah, probably. It's ridiculous. Obviously, Chinatown is full of like Chinese and Japanese food. Everything and... Asian, really. Because you actually get actually like... mad bit. They, you have Chinatown in London, right? But it's like. But it's they have every Asia. Asia. Yeah, you just have Asia, but you just call it Chinatown for some for reason. What, I, I guess because think... predominantly you have mostly Chinese. I think cuisine. it's because it began like that. Ah. Like I think that's where and how it went, began. Then you and went then Korean, and then you went like Japanese, uh, Japanese. and uh, and that's the pretty much Indian. It. No, you don't have Indian food then. Yes, you do. Like Chinatown. Shut Literally, up. I w when we went last, I saw yeah last week. <laughs> yeah, well, ha, I saw I saw Indian, Indian food in Chinatown. Yeah, yeah. bruh, I'm telling you, it's Asia. Man, we walk there <laughs> all the time. What are you talking about? They, I'm they telling you. Mm, it's know. right down the alley. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just checking some of your comments and stuff to see if we're kind of on the right path. And I okay. think we are. Um, okay. Let's check out. Did we finish that, right? Yeah, we, yes, did. we did. I love that song. That was really Preme good. Por <laughs> okay. Let's go with Lata first. Okay. And then we go Coke Studios. Mm, wonderful. This is Shurot Vani. Rest in peace, Lata. Rest in peace. Mark the lives of millions of people. Hey, hey! But you see, it's very Western. I told you. Right, I don't want to say Western. No, it's just it's influences, like rhythmically speaking, of both European. France, um, of both, uh, yeah, France. Some, so perhaps Italy. You could argue Spain. How crazy that she's from there. She was from there. So this was fairly recent. How cool to see her in the studio, no? See, that's not harmonium. That's a that's fucking an accordion. accordion. Yeah. I feel like I'm listening to uh, uh, cumbias and stuff. 
she's like a charrasca in there. How does she still sound like? Vallenato. Doesn't it sound a bit like Vallenato? Damn, she saw the world change, bro. The music industry changed. Those are actual vocals, man! Oh, shout out to everybody involved in this. It's like bongos. I'm telling you, it sounds like Barranquillas in the house. And Lata Mangeshkar brought the, the sound. That's incredible. That bass line is so good. I've never heard that before. That's no, amazing. No, how great is that? And I don't think it's one of like the most popular songs that she's got. It is bloody popular, but she was 85 here. No way. And it's, yeah, it's insane how she just... She sounded like that she for years. She prevailed. I guess I, I, she would, I mean, I don't know, perhaps now, uh, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of information about it, but I do wonder how she took care of her voice mm -hmm. for such a long period of time. Uh, presume she was quite a disciplined person yeah um, quite a reserved person in in terms of like yeah. vocal use i would think to maintain that freshness that sweetness yeah that in, she always had in all your career and commercially like, that's why she was known for right three thousand and i don't know how many songs that you guys Jesus. said that she had like it was it, it, i you know it comes with a lot of of yeah at the Mangeska, how many songs in 2011 the entry was revived by guinness world record crediting the record to her sister, Asha Bosley, as the most recorded artist in the music industry for recording up to 11,000 solo, duet and chorus-backed songs in over 20 Indian languages. Um, how many songs did Lata sing? Holy, what the fuck? What? 50,000! The Nightingale of India won a Guinness World Record for the same. In 2022. So how come Asha in 2011... Oh, Asha is her sister. I know, I know. So how come her sister won it in 2011 oh. with 11,000? I mean, I'm not saying 11,000 is not a great number. I'm just saying 50,000, dude. 50,000. For nearly... 50, oh, my 000. God. Piss off. Bro, I can't even begin to imagine what 50,000 songs... That is insane. Can be. Why? Oh, maybe because Asha did it in more languages. <laughs> I she did it in 20. And, uh, well, Lata I don't think... Had done it in, in 14. 50,000 fucking songs, dude. That's ridiculous. 
Uh, how do you do that? I have no idea. I guess you start when you're 12. <laughs> she did start when she was fairly young, right? Yeah, I think. That, but I mean, recording, actually setting down the paper. You okay. know what I mean? What? Insane. I hope you guys enjoy that as much as we did. Um, let's go mm. to Coke Studios. Okay. Uh, I'm a bit nervous with this because uh, MTV are being nice to us, but who knows? The system is mad. Uh, Sundari Komola. This is first time for everyone. Oh, I love first, first time. Ram Sapate Usri Benerji uh, and Aditi Singh. Aditi Singh. Oh, that sounds that sounds he very sound, familiar. Yeah, he sounds familiar. There is one more Coke Studio I want to check out. Okay, so is this perhaps more classical or folk influenced? Remember, Coke Studios is all about the fusion, so. Oh, what's the name of the guy that does um in Pakistan? Oh no, he's the same person. In India? Yeah. No, he... yeah. Is this Coke guy? Studio India and Coke Studio Pakistan and Coke Studio and Nescafe is the same. Search it up, I forget. Yeah, I was searching about him. Because I think it's Pakistan, it's one dude, but I think they produce other shows in India as well. Did you know I thought I was understanding Bengali? <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm like, yes, God. <laughs> it happened. It happened. Looks like a sarot, but gangster version. so cinematic Keep going, girl. okay yeah Clarity. very insane very nice. insane like we don't see that in nice. any other coke studios where they're doing folk or classical influences you never see clarinets you never see very rarely you see trumpets you do see string sections but it's very peculiar in West Bengal. Uh, yeah. Very peculiar, their choices. Right? of. S I agree, it's very new. You're going to get English and Bengali then. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah, speak to me in Bengali. The minor percussionist is a woman. Nice. That's so beautiful. That I wonder. That China. That's not China. Ah. I wonder, whatever that is. <laughs> How cool sound yeah, is that? So cool. It's so relaxed in their vocals. Less is more. 
Ah, c'est le wrong. It's musically exquisite. It really is. And it's a lot of, of um, not much. Yeah, it's very, a lot of less is more. Even, yeah, even the yeah, flourishes yeah. in the hi-hat. I think he's doing it with a stacked, um, st maybe some stacked splashes. This one's here. Okay. Do you see how you got that double? Yeah, yeah, it could yeah. be just the hi hat. Yeah, cool. Hey. Yeah, it's just the hi hat. It's so cinematic. <laughs> what a star. Oh, bro, to make music like this. Nice. I love that hi hat so much. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, he does it open. Those damn K series, man, they're so good. Oh, the narrow vocals as well. That's Ooh. like the cool version of Sarod. It's like the, the medieval version. <laughs> Beautiful language. Woo. That's good talk. mix man That is the best example of what a drummer is. Like, he is such a... Perfect. A drummer, bro. The like,
that guy is everyone's dream drama. Literally, like, that is such a lesson for everyone. I love the seventh finish. <laughs> Including myself. Like, that is what a drama is, bro. Because you learn that as a minor percussionist first. Singing. Yeah. That your job, I mean, essentially, if you, if, you, if you look at, you know, the lovely woman that's doing the minor percussion, she's not doing much, but she adds a lot. Yeah. Um, but which is what's funny, right? Like, she's not doing much, but she adds a lot because less is more. And well, that I principle. I think that's the whole principle of the song. There's not a lot of a lot happening. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I know that makes no sense. But well, in terms of what, what that means is in terms of uh, there is not that many flourishes. And, and you know, there's not that much... Um, uh, what would you call it? Decoration, uh, yeah. uh, adornments. Business. It is. It is a very straightforward track that does what it's required of it. Um, as a matter of fact, that I, I think it's it, it's as if it was being played by being read uh, off of the music sheet. I see. It. There's nothing unneeded. There is everything. What has been written has been played, uh, which is insane because none of them are reading. They've just done enough. They've just done the perfect amount, not enough. They've done the perfect amount and exactly what the song asked for. Um, and that's really hard to find. Musicians like that are really hard to find because everyone's perspective is different. Everyone, when the lights turn on and the cameras are on, everyone behaves different and wants to shine. So it's really bizarre. But that guy might be one of the best drummers Coke Studio has. Um, that is absolutely And I hope fantastic. I get to see more of him. I know this is at season three, so who the fuck knows where he's at right now? Let me know. Um... What, but how incredible is this, that? The backing vocalists are incredible. And, They're and so good. Again, in order to perform at this level, you have to be at an incredible uh, uh, individual level on its own. And then you have to know how to operate in a highly skilled environment, in a group setting, without, which is another skill. Yeah, without without over-singing, without overstepping, which is is an art form on its own. Um, and it's just it's it's really clever to learn a trick like that to, to learn to adapt into the environment because then you can create music like this and it's it's like a world it's so cinematic I kept I kept saying it but oh, it's on the pearl it, drums it really kind of like spoke you know without actually doing much which is the cool thing about it like that song could play for an hour and I wouldn't even notice that's cool what well, is come, this come play this shit. This is the drummer. I want to see what he's got. I'm going to put the most popular stuff. Um, tribute to Ustad. Pretty cool. Maybe let's put, let's put this one. Nice groove. Oh, nice camera angles. Oh my god, that's nasty. So he's a blues drummer first, it seems. I don't know why he's so low, it's not me, guys. Um, oh, he's so loose, though. See, because th those are the flourishes that the crowd finds impressive. They sound cool. As a drummer, they're whatever, but uh, that's you're not playing for other drummers. That's right. You're not playing to impress other musicians. That's fact. What a groove. Oh my god, oh, what the blessing. fuck? Blessing, what a blessing. I'm gonna comment. Wow. <laughs> wow. You're good. <laughs> oh my god. I read your comments, dude. Damn. Also, another person. He need, subscribe, we subscribe. need to subscribe to him. You guys need to. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> He's a professional. He is a professional. Forget the other guy. This is the guy. 
that's awesome. Go subscribe to me, guys. Um, anyways, okay. There's another. There's another thing. If I have like, if this whole thing comes with responsibility, right? Because like people watch the podcast, they're interested, they seem to like us, and I have one ability, right? Like maybe we could help other people like that. I'm more than happy with that responsibility because <laughs> there's so many cool creators and so many people that deserve totally all the views in the world. Agree. Um, yes, I'm with you. Yeah, they, they do so much better stuff. And they, they, there is one last song. Um, it is Adi Jits. It's only an audio. Um, but it's more like a classical mix. song is used as a mantra, as a prayer in Indian schools. My mom's going to love this. Mother loves songs like this. Okay, I'm just gonna enjoy it. I can't find the lyrics. That's so beautiful. That's what probably makes so soft. makes this so interesting. It's the the play on brightness and darkness um, in terms of. Uh, uh, Chord progression. I was gonna say the chord progression is actually so beautifully, but low key euphoric. Yeah, like the, uh, euphoric. <laughs> it has. <laughs> <laughs> what the it hell? Came out, okay, just let it be. <laughs> it has this like really cool. <laughs> <laughs> go on. I guess we're not moving on. Then. No, no, go on, go on. Okay. <laughs> it has this really cool sweetness to it, because it's it's kind of like. It settles. It's is sweet, but it settles. Like when you you see in the lake, in the surface of a lake, when a little drop it droplet gets dropped into the surface, and then you have like these ripples, and they kind of settle. But every time the beat comes back, it's like a new Another drop. Ripple. Yeah, comes into that surface. Yeah. So it's like, but it, it has this serenity aspect to it too right so it's not disruptive. It's harmonious yeah it's not disruptive and you actually welcome every drop right you know yeah and his vocals are so soft yeah they're yeah so, that's they're so sweet they're Ma so relaxed i'm telling you mother's gonna adore this song. Mm. i like it i like it too i really press like you see how relaxed that is no effort
see those type of progressions. They <laughs> smile. Such a good fucking song. I shouldn't swear because it's like a prayer. But I can't help it. It's. I really like that how the choir is so subtle in the background a lot of the times. And it's such a symphonic piece as well. There's so much symphon symphony happening. No one noticed anything. Nothing happened. It's just shy away from a whisper. He's really well rested here. I think that's the way to fucking unite the world, man. Music. Music. Yeah, like, there's no, there's no way around it. Like, there's no way around those feelings and those emotions. It doesn't matter who you are. Like, you will connect. I agree. You know? And that, I, I, think, I think that's also what's been so amazing about, like, India overall. Like, the journey of, of us discovering um, many music industries in, in India and many languages and many movies and things like that. Because um, it's such a thick industry uh, and such a culturally rich and so many things to discover just in India alone mm -hmm. um, and it's that it's like it doesn't matter how far away we are it doesn't matter how like uh, distant or different things may seem it's like through music all of a sudden you start to notice how fucking similar we all are and uh, one of the beautiful things as well of India that I've seen and I've noticed is I think that's why their connection between religion and music it's so strong um and that i feel that's why a lot of people they find a lot of strength in that and their relationship between and in religion is so strong it's because it's combined in music and music to me is like one of the best examples of like if you wanted to know if there's really something else out there mm -hmm. right i don't know what you'd call it different religions call it whatever um you might call it this i might call it that another religions call it what what it may what they may think it is um, but there's definitely a presence of something else. Um, there is definitely a God, at least, or there's definitely a sublime, or or perhaps that it would be like an untouched source of power, uh, that an untold source of power. Um, maybe not untold, but unforeseen. Maybe, maybe perhaps something that you can't grasp, something that's not physical, because. It yeah, that this is just a mere aspect of reality. Yeah, yeah. That this is just... There's more to it. Yeah, yeah, and you can experience that through music. A lot of people... Whatever whatever the, the, the genre might be, I find that, I'll, like, the magic of the essence of music itself, the reason why we feel... The elation. Through music, yep. it's the, is the mere example of that element of magic, whatever you might want to call it, because... Yeah, there, there is just not logical representation to it. I mean, musical scientists will break it down for you and tell you it's because of the circle of fifths and the majors mm -hmm. and the major sevens used in this particular song. But I would, I would 
disagree and add to that, you know, the elements of magic because yeah. it, and in this particular pieces that are so aligned with the the spiritual journey, and and they they naturally ignite that you. You, there's no room for questioning, mm. at least not to me. You know, like mm. I, I can go to bed tonight thinking, yeah, that was that, that was like, that was something else. Yeah, you like, know, like that song taps into something right. else much more than just music. We do have one more. I just want to check out another name because uh, for the sake of it, it is the whole point is to discover new names, right? Um, his name, I think he's a he. Uh, his name is Arin Dom, mm, okay. um, and he's a poet. We love those. Yeah. What a video. I hope this doesn't get us blocked every time I do this. It's like one more and then no podcast. <laughs> yes. What a great choice, Ephra. Thank you, Valet, for saying that. <laughs> da, 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 da. Ooh, da, 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 da. I love details. Good choice, Ephra. <laughs> Good choice, Ephra. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no worries. I love the swooshes. The whoosh. Yeah, it seems to be a different production house. There's a more modernistic approach to it, too, though. <laughs> The details. Yes. You imagine you did. The details. He, ta he takes out the white hair. It's like you're the aging. The details. You're aging. Oh look, a, a grey hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make a wish. Be free of pigeon disease. What a song. Add this to the playlist right now. Hold on. Oh I should stop God. taking the piss. This is great. I love this this guy. What's his name? I said it before. Arindum. Arindum. I bet that's her brother. I bet that's her brother. She, she's not supposed to be in love with the man she's in love with. Romeo and Juliet situation. I like a lot that that um, that singing phrase because it also I mean it was made for the fucking movie, but it's really interesting because it, it's not a usually in those in the section of a song, especially if it's alternative rockish like this one, um, you will you will go um, with a bigger belt um, and a bigger expression, but because he's a man in conflict in sense of there is confusion and let's say it is a betrayal story like this they say this is he is the love interest. Um, but she's also has been with another man or something along those lines, or she's breaking rules um, or something like that. Yeah, you, you think it's like a family problem, right? Feud, yeah. Um, let's say it's like that. He does not know how to react. So he's not really fighting here yet. Mm -hmm. He is a man in confusion, in conflict. Cause it, and that's what the melody actually showcases too. It's a hum rather than a ha. You know what I mean? What you would see actually more common in the Indian music industry, uh, that kind of exploration. If I, yeah. if I may. Go on, mate. I think the... Oh, don't tell me I press the wrong button, no. The, I'm also seeing like a pattern, a pattern in these songs okay. so far. They ne they don't usually resolve on a higher note. They don't tend to push yep. to the upper thirds and fifths like you would in in 
the Bollywood scene. Yeah. Or like how you would uh, traverse the notes more com more complicated yeah. in a more complicated manner. I'm I'm seeing that in this particular style of music, it it resolves in maintaining itself in a more resonant chesty mm. proportion of the song. I think it has to do Both a lot. Male and female, like. Yeah, it has to do a lot with the there's no need for a higher resolution. Like it finds melody with within the the nothingness of it all. Yeah. And I think that's a really good example of that too. Right. It, it, you know what? Some of the cinematography, not to make comparisons, I don't like making comparisons, but usually point of references sometimes helps to kind of put my point across, um, because if not, I ramble on. Um, it's like if you look at the Malayalam movies that we yes. reviewed in terms of songs, uh, sometimes... Explosive. this Yeah, they... What'd you say? Explosive. Malayalam. Uh, I think I'm talking... Tamil. Telugu, Tamil. Yeah, yeah. they were fucking mad. <laughs> the, the, Malayalam yeah, are the ones... Yes, you know I that remember. one of the most beautiful songs we ever reviewed? Yes, that was yes, Malayalam. Yes, yes, I remember. Um, I remember it. It, the cinematography-wise seems to lean more towards that. Obviously, Malayalam, it's south, east. I don't know. Geography ain't my strength. Oh, damn. You gotta fight, dog. You gotta fight because you're fucked either way. The castle, the sanctuary is burning. See, but that's the first time we've seen an, an, an uh, exploration of the higher, uh, uh, even in Brighton. It's not really bright. I guess it's just more like a, an elated. No, you're Note. working in a higher harmonic range, yeah. but it's if you pay attention, it's never been the vocals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, but even even we haven't seen that in other songs. Not no, even the the hear, electric guitars hear, and the solos, I guess. We heard the the brightness of the songs being expo explored by other instruments. For example, the clarinet. Uh, the cl clarinet, the violins, the. Uh, oh, yeah, true. So you you had this exertion of higher elated sounds, but never by but the, never by the vocals, or not usually done by the vocals. Let's not say never. I don't think but, this is a family feud, man. I, I think he is. The other man. Yeah. Also, that is not how that would go in real life. Don't try that. You can't even box people properly. Bare fist, uh, 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 yeah, bare knuckled. You'll break your hands. People's foreheads are really strong, actually. By that point, you should do or die, so fuck it. Do what you can, lad. Got a knife. I love it, Twinkle. Yeah, that is not her brother, bruv. <laughs> oh, what a voice. That's sticky. It's a horrible scene. Yeah. Oh shit, I can't show any of that. Uh. I like the foreshadowing though, that's really nice. See you in heaven. I guess it was Romeo and Juliet. Bro, I saw it from miles away. Yeah, well, there you go. My guess can show it now. Nice. 
cool, the environmental sense. <sighs> what a great fucking song. Mm. Let me check out the lyrics. Okay, conclusions, I do, I, I do think. This song, brilliant. Yeah. It, has a, it has a really nice idea of conflict being played in a, in, in a really... I don't know, it's very romantic. So it maintains the subtle essence to it too, you know? Um, cool. I don't know, what do you think? Am I tripping? It's a really good song. Uh -huh. It's a really good fucking song. I'm just now afraid that our video is going to get blocked because of the blood. Um, okay. Very nice. <laughs> Very there nice is, There is, I mean, again, it's impossible to check out everything. Um, we do try our best. Let us know what you guys thought about it. And um, I think that's pretty much it. I think that's pretty much it. West Bengal, ladies and gentlemen. Good Adios. night. Adios.